Hello you guys, it's JK and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a different one just because I am kind of winding down for the rest of my day and I just wanted to talk to the camera. So this is going to be like a skin, it's not even going to be a skincare routine, I'm just doing my skincare as I'm kind of just blobbing away. I had a really long day so this is like necessary to kind of wind down really cleanse and like just feel a whole lot better i went to a funeral today and funerals suck and i think covid funerals suck even more because you don't get to have as many people and you don't get to share that moment with as many people as you normally would so i had that and then i had like errands to run and then there was traffic and it's just it's been a really long day i've been up since 6 30 and it's about 6 30 p.m right now so i'm definitely getting to that point where i kind of just want to sleep but i do have this video to edit and put out um i have some other stuff it's the 23rd and it is my mom's birthday and i love my mom so much she is my number one supporter on here um and in real life as well i just love her so much and like she's such a great like parent like she definitely is someone why does my face look so red that's strange it doesn't look that red in real life um, she is someone who has gone through so much stuff and she has prospered and it's just, I love her so much. Um, but yeah, it's her birthday today. So everyone wish Mama Panda happy birthday. And yeah, so it's her birthday and then I was also going to a funeral. It was, just, it was a lot, it was intense. One thing that I did kind of think about was how people act at funerals because there is a lot of different types of funeral types of people at funerals and a lot of different types of funerals in general funerals aren't for the dead they're actually for the living and that, that's very true but um something that i kind of really realized was that how people handle funerals does really vary like you know there i've i've been to funerals where people are very like celeb like celebratory about like you know someone's life and like you know they're like yeah they lived a great life and um you know and on the flip side there's people who like you know it's like you know wow like you know we definitely feel their loss so i mean it just i think what funerals <laughs> constantly remind me is that you gotta live your life to the full extent fullest extent. Something that I was also talking to someone about was this notion of I've been meaning to do this. I've been meaning to do that. And that notion is, I mean, I'm sure it comes from like a great like aspirational place, right? But it's like, why not now? You know, I think especially this year, like, you know, with COVID and everything like that, it's like, why not this year? Or why not now, you know, then later? It's really interesting to think about, like, why not now? Like, why why not try whatever it is now? And, you know, a lot of people, I mean, I was like this for a really long time of, like, you know, I don't feel like the time is right. I don't feel like this is right or this is right. And, you know, truth be told, you never get a perfect time to do anything. Like YouTube for me, for example, I started doing YouTube like during a pandemic and that was to make sure that I had something to do and something to look forward to and something to get dressed up about so that it wouldn't fall into a depression because truth be told, I'm very prone to that if I'm not around human interaction or human contact. A lot of me starting YouTube was even just coping with my own like my own insecurities about myself because I was like if this goes on for longer I'm probably gonna get depressed you know and I was already at the at that point I was already starting to get depressed because I'm very extroverted so I have to be outside I have to be talking to people I have to be interacting with people otherwise I get really really sad and even now like I love getting dressed up for videos 
I love doing my makeup for videos. Um, there'll be times where I just do my makeup for videos. It's so, like, it's such a good feeling to have something that you're so passionate about, you know? And um, to have something where, like, you can literally sit down and say, like, I'm grateful for this you know and grateful for this opportunity and i am i'm so grateful for this opportunity i absolutely love youtube i think i like youtube more than more than any platform right now you know a lot of that is like i've grown to love it at first like i hated editing editing was so hard to me and now it's so funny because i enjoy editing and like you know every once in a while there will be like a technical difficulty like the last video that I put up I edited that and I edited it halfway and it literally took me almost two hours to get to the halfway mark my computer shut down and I restarted it and it wasn't saved and it just it made me really want to cry because it's a lot of work however what I have realized about editing is that there's so much cool stuff that you can learn. Um, I use Premiere, so there's so much cool stuff that I've learned about Premiere. Um, and it's just so like, there's like such a, like, it's so cool. Like, you know, like the stuff that you can do with Premiere is amazing. And you know, had I never started YouTube, I never would have learned that had I not been pushed into that, you know, not having anybody to edit my videos. Like, I never would have learned those things. I never would have realized that the possibilities are truly endless with Premiere. So, you know, it is, it's, it's one of those things where like, you don't realize what you have until you look back and you're like, oh wait, how did I live? And that's, that's, dude, that is such a big thing. Like, you know, like I, even like with Annie sometimes, I like, you know, look at her and I'm like, what was I doing before I had her? Like, what was my life? I don't know because you know she's such a big part of my life and in the same way YouTube is such a big part of my life that I was like what was I doing before I was doing YouTube and I mean the answer to that question is very straightforward I was working all the time but even like the pockets of time that I did have like when I was sick and stuff like what was I doing I just sat on my ass and watched Netflix I find that hard to believe because I get really like really like agitated really quickly with like shows and stuff so I don't know it was it, it's a really interesting place to be at in life um just because I'm happy and it, like you know like YouTube is so fulfilling and it's it's not it's not great like it's not huge like I'm not making like huge moves on YouTube but it's still so fun and like like it makes me so happy to be able to like do YouTube you know and like again like you know a lot of that just comes from gratitude um and I genuinely do think that when you when things stem from gratitude you are more likely to enjoy it even more um because you, you truly fathom what you have and you appreciate what you have but yeah it's a really weird thing because i i i hate hate going to funerals because funerals always make me really really sad and really really depressed um even if i didn't know the person like personally they make me so sad and so depressed and so for this funeral to be like something that was more uplifting than it was sad it's really really comforting almost you know and i just feel so grateful and i like the entire ride um back here i was just thinking i was like wow i'm so happy and excited and you know like i just i'm so ecstatic about like you know my journey on youtube and everything that i have planned for youtube and just in general you know because life's good you know and i'm trying I really do want to make the most of my life that I possibly can because you never know how many days you have left and that's that sounds a little bit morbid but I promise it's not because it's true you know you never know how many days you have left if you make the most of every single day you will have lived the most of your life that's the transitive property or something like that but yeah that is all that I have for you guys today let me know what you guys think 
of these types of videos i i want to be more personal and like more like out there and like just kind of put it out on the internet because that was one of my goals to make my channel a little bit more personal to me and yeah i can't believe i'm sitting on the internet with a face mask on my face what is happening <laughs> but thank you so so much for watching thank you so so much for listening to me ramble on and on and on and on <laughs> i love you guys so much thank you so so much for watching you are helping my dreams come true Mwah. bye guys